Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to look at uh, a very, very important part of our ACCA journey, which is your CBE practice platform. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are using this already. And if you aren't, it is imperative that you start to use it. Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the features with which a lot of students do not know or at least struggle to find out how to use them. Right. So it's going to be a short video, like always. Uh, however, I do hope that we are able to together figure out these uh, very, very important functionalities so that you can improve your ACCA exam performance. But before we do that, if this is the first time you've come to my channel, can I request you to please hit the like and subscribe button and the bell icon. Um, I, I assure you that all the videos that I do will be helpful in your ACCA and your overall finance and accounting journey. Uh, so moving on, um, what you see on the screen here is your ACCA's CBE practice platform. Now, how do you go about accessing that? Very simple. Just do a, a Google of ACCA practice platform and uh, the link should come up or you can also go to my ACCA, which is, you know, login into your my ACCA account and there in uh, one of the uh, options, there will be a CBE practice platform uh, option. So click on that, follow the options. You will have your ID password you put in there and you should come to the screen. All right. Now, if there are any challenges in accessing the practice platform, I would request you to reach out to the ACCA's uh, a student support team and they should be able to help you with that. Uh, but today's uh, session is to more figure out how do you use your practice platform? So, like I said, this is what you what you get over here. Now, on the right hand side, you do have the catalog where you have all the papers that are available so there is advanced audit assurance and then there are all the advanced papers and then you move to the skill level papers now when i say skill level papers unfortunately the law paper is not here the law paper along with the three knowledge level papers will be available on a separate ACCA global uh, uh, websites uh, link, right? So if you cannot find them again, do a Google search and and, and look for ACCA MAFA uh, mock papers and ideally ACCA global link should take you there. All right. Uh, but these are all your skill level papers and your professional level papers. Um, so what we'll do is that we'll take uh, one of the one of the papers so that, you know, I hope you will be able to use that for all the papers that you sit. So here you've got right hand side, you've got a catalog and on the left hand side, you see the assigned material. Now assigned material would mean that once you have gone into, let's say I select taxation and within the taxation, you can see all the variants or all the number of variants that we do in taxation. You go to ACCA official resources. Now, this is where I love the platform because I tell this uh, to my students at FPA every time is that you have to have to do all the papers here which are there on the CBE platform. Now you will see that there are about one, two, three, four, five, six pass papers. There are two practice papers and then there is a one specimen paper so you can see there are nine mocks available which are directly given by the acca team which includes the six pass papers includes the two practice papers which are super in sync with your exams that are going to come as well as your uh, specimen paper now what's the difference between the practice and the specimen is that they will be uh, a hundred marks paper wherein your past papers will only and only have the section C in the case of uh, tax, PM, FM, FR and in the case of audit it will be only section B. So basically all the long questions you will find here. Uh, of course the logic is very simple. There are only so many types of MCQs that you can come up with therefore ACCA limits 
the availability of those MCQs. However, if you go to go through the examiner's reports, you can still see some MCQ questions there as well. And most of the time, you know, your BPP or your Kaplan will be able to, you know, use them as a reference point and come up with their own set of questions as well, right? But what I hear, what we are looking here today is how do we go about using this? Now, I ideally want to look at a one full paper, right? So I have the tax uh, specimen paper already assigned to me, right? So I will, so you know what? I'm gonna maybe just assign one new paper to myself just so that you know exactly how it looks. So whenever you assign any paper to yourself, on the left hand side, you can see, well, I have assigned quite a few papers to myself because, um, you know, FPA keeps me busy. <coughs> so I've been looking at a lot of uh, past papers, a lot of papers, right? Um, so before we actually go into uh, looking at how this paper look, I also want to uh, talk about another thing which is available and which is your blank workspace, right? So you can see when you go into the taxation, there is also something called as blank workspace. Now, what do you do with the blank workspace is that you will be able to. So I've already assigned this to myself. So I'll show you how exactly it looks. But basically, this will be a blank Excel area or the spreadsheet area and the word area. Right now, why do you have this is so that even though let's say you're done with the nine papers, but you are still not confident on how to use the spreadsheet, which is you know going to come in the exam, you should be able to use the blank workspace to do all your practice, right? In fact, I've always requested my students at FPA to please use the uh, blank workspaces so that you are more used to using the interface, you know, because it's different. It's not the same Excel that you would otherwise use because your Excel will cover the whole screen. This is half screen, quarter screen, or whatever you want to call it, right? So it is different. Okay, so you can use the blank workspace to do your practice outside of the CB uh, regular mocks that are there. So you can use your kit, you can use your textbook or whatever the content, practice it here. You can always save a PDF of the work that you've done. Okay, however, right now let's focus on the paper we have assigned to ourselves. And on the left hand side, you can see I have a tax UK specimen, right? And I will start the paper. Now, this is a full 100 mark paper. Uh, it is important to go through these instructions. They are the same instructions that you'll get in the exam, right? So make sure that you've read them all. Uh, if you, so for example, now, if I press next, it will show an error that you've not viewed the entire screen. Please use all scroll bars. Now, what do we mean by that? is that I need to make sure that I've read all the instructions and if there were if there was a scroll option here I would have had to scroll all the way to the right hand side to make sure I've read all the instructions once I've done that I will press next now this is a bug that sometimes come up right so do not get so I know you've done this already and still it will say you know you have to do that so what do you do is that you just go back right and then you go front and automatically it will skip all the screens right okay it hasn't skipped this time but usually it does right okay okay this seems like a bit of a pain let's see if this time it works all right, it has worked. All right, I'm gonna try and refresh and I'm glad it is happening when I'm trying to record because I know this happens to the students and students will typically get nervous. You don't have to get nervous. You really, really just have to, you know, try and refresh and see if you are able to go forward now. Let's see if this is loading. If it's not loading, what I will do is I will log out and log in again. Okay, so it's not probably working right now. I've done it thrice. So I'm going to log out and log in again. All right, so stay with me. All right, so after logging in, 
logging out, logging in and whatnot, it has finally uh, started. So what I've done, um, and I'm glad this happened right now. So sometimes, you know, there will be too many people maybe on the server trying to use the CB platform. So it may sometimes act funny. So what I did is that I went into incognito mode, right? So you can see on my screen, I'm gone incognito. I hope um, if, you know, this problem happens to you, it gets fixed. So you can see as soon as I logged in, it straight away took me to the screen where my exam has now straight away started, right? So this is your section A. I hope everyone knows what section A is. You'll have, you know, 15, two markers, right? Now, for anyone who's not looked at the CB platform before, right? There is this flag for review. Now, what does this mean is that when I click over here, okay, let me go to the first question and then I will put a flag here. So uh, this flag over here, right? What it will do is that it has now flagged this question because I did not know an answer and i want to come back to this question at a, at a later stage so what i will do i will flag it i will then move on let's say i have done whatever right and then i've moved on i have done this one right and i have moved on okay now let's say i want to check which questions have i not yet done or i'm not sure of right so i go to the navigator and then you can see that the first question is flagged for my review right so i can i can go for uh, this question directly by clicking on this question so this of course navigator is a real time saver because you can quite comfortably jump from section to section right and this is a hack that i had taught people in the COVID days when they were struggling without the paper right uh, so if you are doing a remote exam, you should know that you will not be allowed uh, paper for doing any kind of uh, any kind of rough work. You can use this navigator and then you can straight away jump to a section C where let's say you press on question 31, right? You will see here you've got an Excel. Just quickly do the answer calculation here, right? So nevertheless, we, we uh, will come to this as well. So so look you've got your section a you've got your section b and then you've got your section c now within the section c you should all know that on the left hand side you have been given the scenario on the right hand side is your requirement and then of course whatever you're supposed to do and then you have your excel area here now what you can do right so for example i I am done looking at the question. Now I want to start solving the question. Let's say I, I know what the numbers are or maybe I'm okay, right? So I may do a zoom here, right? And then I have all the numbers, let's say here, okay? I can increase the size of my screen. You can see, so I know what my numbers here. I have got a much bigger screen and I can, you know, I can very comfortably do that. Now, very important also to understand is that in ACCA, you're supposed to link, you're supposed to do formulas, right? So whenever you're trying to put in a formula, make sure that you are putting in the formula, right? For example, equal to some bracket and then, you know, so make sure that the examiner knows that you have added this all up and you're not doing it on a calculator. But I hope these are very basic hygiene things that you know. Um, in terms of, you know, all the things that you have over here, for example, you can add a symbol, right? So this also sometimes because of the bug doesn't work. Uh, let's say I want to add. Okay, so let's say I want to add. Yeah, so this is also sometimes it does this, right? So there's also uh, a bug here sometimes that it will not allow you to, uh, you know, insert insert the symbols. Uh, again, this should ideally work in your exam. And if it doesn't, it's not like a big problem there as well, okay? Uh, but yeah, you've got your symbol sign, you can highlight. So for example, let's say I am reading the question and I want to highlight okay. so let's say uh, 
Oops, sorry. Hmm. Okay. So I can always highlight as well. Right. So if you really want to read the question, you can shorten the screen here and then you can highlight the bits that you want. So uh, it is. So the way I look at it is the CBE platform is fairly intuitive. It helps you, you know, it helps you maneuver the things the way you want to. Right. So I would, of course, I would urge you guys to do all of this, whatever I'm doing yourself so that you also are aware of all these functionalities. You can use strike through for any things that you've studied calculator. I'm not a big fan of the feature over here, but yeah, the scratch pad, a uh, scratch pad is basically for anything and everything that you want to put in and you don't want uh, to use the scrap paper for it. Right. So that's this. But to be honest, you know, my today's session is actually not about this, but it is to talk about once you're done with the paper. So let's say you're done with this paper, right? I will straight away go to uh, the last question that is there. Okay. So let's say question 36. And I will do the scrolling. I will press next and then we are done with the we are done with the exam you do the end exam you do yes all right so look this is something that we all are aware of now what do you do after this is that once you press an exit button over here now you will go into the mark section and from the mark section, you will see the papers that you have already completed. For example, we have just completed this paper, right? Now you will be able to look at your answer. You will be able to look at the ideal ans answer. And then you can also give yourself marks. Okay. So let's uh, just wait for this to load. Once this is loaded, you will see how helpful the marking scheme is because I have again always stressed on the fact that you should know how you have performed and the best way to do it is do a self-assessment, right? You do not always need a faculty to tell you that you've done this right, you've done this wrong. Let's say you've had, you know, one round of uh, uh, solution given to you, one round of uh, uh, feedback given to you. The next few rounds should be all self-assessment, right? So, for example, here, uh, this is your section um, A, right? Now, because the first question, you know, we did wrong, right? So, it's given us zero. Your roll-up means your total score out of 100 is zero right now. So the good, good thing is the section A and B will be automatically calculated for you, right? So you don't have to spend any time, but yeah, let's say, you know, we selected 7327, but the answer was 4962. So it will show, it will tell you how this has been done, right? So you will keep going next, next, next. You've looked at all the bits that you were wrong and then you will keep going next, 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 next. And here comes our, okay. All right. Now, if you click here, when you click here, for the sample answer, you can see all right, I'll have to go in the long question. Yeah, it is. Okay. Now, on the left hand side is the ideal answer, right? So it's been given to you what you are supposed to do. So it has given you all the working and you should know in tax exam that you will get marks for every step that you have followed now if you will go further right so now this is your uh, ideal answer okay and it has given all the allowances etc etc now typically you should have a marking scheme as well 
right let me see if we have the marking scheme okay it's not given here let's see if it is given here Okay. Um, ideally, there needs to be a marking scheme here. I'm surprised that we are not able to see that here. Um, all right, fair enough. There needs to be there needs to be a marking scheme as well. Now, let's say it was given to you here that you know for every step that you've done you get a one mark two mark etc and let's say you have done your working here okay so what do you do you go to that tick marking mode all right and let's say it says that you uh, are supposed to give one marker for this step that you can see in front of you what do you do you do this tick mark and you click here on the one mark and then all the places where you've done right and it has asked you to give a one mark you should be able to click it right obviously i've not done any answer here but let's say if you have written the answer as long as you're clicking on those you will be able to give yourself one mark one mark one mark now why is this important it is important so that you know exactly from the total uh, 40 marks you know how many marks have you gotten now like i said I would have loved for the uh, you know the sample marking scheme and I'm very surprised I can't see it over here typically along with the sample answer itself at the end of it you would find a sample uh, marking scheme but nevertheless um, you know you just have to make sure that you follow those sample marking keep giving yourself marks so that you can see the total score once you are done with this the next time when you are doing this exercise again make sure you have been able to make all the corrections or all the changes or all the improvements that you are supposed to do after you've gone through this so that every time i look i do not suggest anyone to keep doing papers you know back to back you should do one paper look at the places you've gone wrong uh, make the changes and then move to the next paper right so that is the most ideal thing to do um, but look this is uh, this is uh, your CBE platform and how do you go about using it I do hope you found this useful I'm sorry that there were a couple of things that I would have loved to show right like I said the sample marking scheme it would have been nice if I could have showed you look this is one mark given to you so you can give one mark here but nevertheless uh, you know it is all available there not in this paper but of course there are other papers where you'll find the sample marking scheme so make sure you use that if you do have any doubts you know leave me a comment and i'll be happy to help you all right so on that note all the very best for the upcoming exams and uh, thank you so much bye bye